So recent technologies now, instead of storing the Monte Carlo trials, we can express up to 100 million Monte Carlo trials in 88 bytes. This is a huge, uh, huge shift in uh, the way risk management teams operate. But essentially, the, the, the future of at least part of the risk team will be dedicated to collecting, cleaning, preparing data, and doing all the hard mathematical stuff behind you know, closed doors with only auditors looking after them. And by the way, as you love saying that all of this is 100% auditable, which makes everybody's life a lot easier. Um, so risk managers, at least part of the team, becoming the generators that create those probability distributions and then converting them to a format, to a form uh, so simple and light that is then given to everybody else in the organization and basically turns any business plan, any forecast, any investment proposal, any model into a stochastic model to overcome the flow of averages. Uh, you know, in my mind, this is, you know, this is if, not, if, if that's not a revolution in risk management, I don't know what is. So I want to very quickly take you to the Metalogs page of the, of the nonprofit because we've tried to encapsulate the most important features of the Metalog. If you go to metalogs.org, you'll find Tom Keeler's page with way more stuff. But you also might just start with a Wikipedia article on Metalogs. So number one, the Metalog is a mathematical tour de force. So from a theoretical side, it's very interesting. But from a practical standpoint, he has created really elegant spreadsheet models that implement it. And so when you implement this, and there are several ways, there's a lot to parse here, folks. One way to access the Metalog is to put in percentiles and the associated quantiles, they're called. So what, what this is, for these input parameters, 99% of the time, the number is 85 or less. 10% of the time, the number is eight or less. 90% of the time, it's 50 or less, and so on. And on top of that, let, let's call this variable uh, test now. And notice it says test cumulative over on the right now. And this one was an unbounded distribution. But I'm going to put in um, a semi-bounded with a lower bound. It defaulted to zero. I'm going to, I'm going to make that number two. And this has specified some magic parameters that will recreate this distribution. Now, that's half of getting the 100 million trials stored in 88 bytes. You're going to see the other half in a second. So I am now, now that I've selected this, I'm going to click the Metalog button. And I'm going to say, I want to go to Excel. So I'm going to go to a blank Excel sheet. This is beta test. So, you know, I'm working without a net. And I click paste to Excel. And it says, where do you want the distribution? I want it in C1. Where do you want the spark line? You'll see what that is in a second. And then where do you want your random cell? So we need a random number generator. I'm going to put it there. And what are the seeds? So it automatically put a start variable seed of one these four seeds, these four things to fill out, drive the HDR random number generator developed by Doug Hubbard that is going to drive the Metalog. So those are the two technologies. See, it says HDR down here. Now, if I click OK and hold my breath, 
I think everything. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Let's remember what I did. I specified the random variable over here by fitting it to data. So I clicked one button to suck this into memory and went back here. I pasted it. And look, there's a comment statement. Oh, yeah, it's called test. It has five terms. The lower bound is two. Alex talked about the two classes of risk managers. For the generators, the generators to worry about. And the consumers. This is for the generator to worry about. Doug Hubbard's generator is a uniform generator required to run the metal log. A uniform generator is like a spinner. It goes between zero and one. In Excel, native Excel, that would be a RAND formula. Here is the formula for Doug's generator. Let me just quickly re recap. Um, so essentially what this means is that the generators in your companies now have the tools that allow them to produce the distributions and not send you clunky Excel files that you need to add to your existing models and all of the complexity associated with that. But instead, it's literally almost like a copy paste you know, over a corporate messenger or email. And uh, that data is transported into your business plans and, and instantaneously almost turns your business plan into a risk model.